Okay, here's a video for the 1991 motorized battle wagon, and it's not a favorite among too many people. I'm glad I have it though. Don't really use it much. Um, thought I'd go around like I've been doing in some of it, my videos and show you first who I've got there. I've got a version of Salvo, I believe, right there. Um, then this part opens up here, and there is two consoles and seats in there and then over on the other side I've got a version of um, Beachhead I believe right there and then there's no nobody can really go in there I guess I guess you probably could I guess what you would do is lift this up have them sit and maybe that's more of a ventilation type thing because they don't actually look out of it. But as long as this isn't there, or maybe even with someone there, this there, you could have someone there. Um, so parts that I don't like about it too much are um, the missiles right here. If you um, tip this in, your, in any way, all these fall out. Um, one thing I do like though is that it holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight right there, and then four here. I guess that's it, but um, that's okay because it actually only comes with 12 missiles. But yeah, so if you have the missiles there and you pick the um, launcher up, they can fall out, and that's kind of annoying. Um, so I showed you what people I have around. There's also a seat up here, so that gives you one, two, three, four, and then two inside um, is six, and then one on the other side where beachhead is seven, then one underneath is eight, and then nine. And I think there's some pegs back here. I guess not. So nine people or figures can fit on this. Um, so other than the missiles, you know, falling out, it isn't too great. Um, this button right here, it will go ahead and fire if I push it, though, because um, I have batteries in it. But a downside, I guess, if you're looking for one, is that besides the colors, some people don't like the colors. Um is this is motorized and has batteries that you, two um, double A that have to go in there. And then I haven't had to fill this up in a while with batteries, so I forget how many batteries, but um, there are batteries that go in there, so. Um, yeah, if you don't have batteries, it's kind of loses some of its coolness. But we'll go ahead and show you the gun station that's up here. It comes off and it sits um, rather well, I think, on its base right there. But if you're worried about it falling out or over, um, it does have this arm that swings out and gives it a little more support. So we'll go ahead and try and show you it firing its missiles. <clears throat> Let's get somewhere where hopefully you'll see all the missiles get fired and I won't lose them. So it fired all but two of them. So then it goes. So that's kind of cool. You know, it's motorized. I'll try and show you that. Or I guess it doesn't move around. It's actually the part in there that moves around. And you just got a picture of my dog, Duke. He's always hearing sounds or hearing me talk and wants to know what it, what's going on. Um, so anyway, so that's motorized. And then this part back here um, kind of even shows you if I can get on there. It says FW on this side and REV on this side. So it's reverse and forward. So we'll show you that. Let's first go forward. 
And as you can see, it's very fast. And we'll go in reverse and hopefully not get ran over. So that's it in reverse. And you can hear it still going in reverse. Try and turn it off. Alright, so let's hope I actually show that it does move pretty fast. And if you had some obstacles in the way, it does climb over them pretty well. And I'm not sure, other than the colors, why people wouldn't like it. And the battery issues and the missiles and all that kind of stuff. But um, I don't think it's that unbelievable that this thing would ever exist. Maybe not in a military reason, in reasonable way, but... Um, I always think of it as kind of like one of the really big uh, earth movers or land mover um, dump trucks, like the Caterpillar 797B, if you look that up. It is really huge, and it's so big, they say, that it has to be um, dismantled and um, put together when they get to a location because it's so big. But I could see this one, even as though it's that big, it could still be um, taken um, some way on the road or whatever. So I don't think it's that unbelievable um, that such a thing could exist. So then weapon-wise, other than the motorized uh, missile launcher, you've got a gun here. goes up and down. Got one here that swivels right, left and right. And then another gun. On the other side that swivels up and down. Um, it would have been nice if since it is motorized if this winch was motorized but it's not but it's got a little hook on it and that fits on right there so you don't lose it and it doesn't have to swing loose and then you would just move it up and down with that so that way it's up and then down so anyway so there's a video for the 1991 motorized battle wagon that even though I don't use it, I'm glad I have it and I think it's a great vehicle.